Hey Seisha, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing another haul video because I just came back from China. So before I start off, I just want to say that yes, I'm still sick and my voice haven't fully come back because I still have my sore throat here and my throat is really really itchy so don't mind me anyway I just came back from China and obviously I bought some goods because um why not so let's head on and show you what I got from China yay so this are my very first batch and obviously it's all clothes inside and it's all from H&M so I know you guys are probably thinking like why the hell am I even shopping at H&M when Singapore already have H&M but let me tell you guys what I bought this from Beijing at Wang Futing and the clothes there were like on 50% sales oh my god it was on freaking 50% it was on 50 freaking percent sales Everything inside the store So what makes you think that I'm not gonna buy anything from them? It's like obviously you gotta shop inside the shop Because it's 50 percent sales Everything, everything Okay, total I spent like 582 RMB Which is 120 <laughs> Or lesser than that So the first clothes that I got It's a bodycon dress I actually bought this because of the button And I feel that the cutting on top is very nice I generally like the colour as well as the material because it's knitted So this is definitely worth it for me Technically I only bought like one dress So the rest will be the top and bottom okay, So this is the another top that I got It's a smoked spaghetti top with a polka dot design which is very very cute that's why I got it ah. technically I just like the details in general and I like the fact that this is polka dots because I don't think I have a lot of polka dot design in my closet so moving on I also got something very very eye-catching it's this neon color top this one reminds me of a top that Jenny wore to the airport it's a lime green kind of hey wait she didn't wear it to the airport she just wore it in one of her Instagram photo and it's a lime green cardigan and then she just exposed a bit of her belly here so it, this shirt just reminds me of that the colour is really really nice to me because it's like neon and it's very eye-catching the next one is something very very simple and I don't really have a lot of simple kind of t-shirt in my closet actually I have a lot of t-shirt just that I don't like all the t-shirts that I buy because it's just plain t-shirt like plain black, plain white I'm a very plain person sometimes so that's why so mostly I have like more oversized tea than normal tea so I decided to buy this tea that is not very very oversized and this material is really really soft I don't have any colour that is like this and I don't have a t-shirt that is like this so this will be a very very like casual kind of outfit for me to wear like to school or go out in general yeah and the very very last top that I got is this one it's a very brandy Melville kind of hang top but of course it's H&M brand lah so I got this instead because this is really more to like sticking to my body kind like if I wash a lot of time it will not like loosen and like go sideways you know I don't know how to explain but technically it just makes me feel that the size will stay the same and it will not expand I'm left with like the last two piece which is my bottom so I got these jeans actually when I was inside Brandy uh, when I was inside H&M shop I was actually looking for a jeans that is sort of trendy in China like there's a lot of China people wearing all the like what do you call this like a cowgirl kind of jeans so like the bottom is like a trumpet so it's like you know it's like straight cut then it's like that but I didn't manage to find but then I saw this jeans it's really really cute the cutting is really cute on me and it fit me really well so I got it because of this bottom here I like the cutting here because I just think that it's nice and it's a bit of what I was looking for but not exactly lastly I got a sweatpants like I told you in my previous video the one of the lookbook video I told you guys that sweatpants is a must I got myself another sweatpants too in grey version and it's a plain one because 
I don't have a plain grey sweatpants without those kind of like funny funny design I tried on these sweatpants and it's really big on me so I still get it because I don't give a shit about wearing a loose sweatpants like it's a sweatpants it's meant to be loose and like baggy so moving on will be my food haul I really bought a lot of snacks from Beijing and Tianjin because there's not a lot of shop for me to buy clothes because the design of their clothes is really not very suitable in Singapore it's really like very mad to me because what are the chances of me wearing those clothes go to like a cold country it's very very rare so I decided not to get those like thick clothing kind of clothes so I bought more snacks okay so I'll start with this first This is red dates filled with walnuts in between I got this because I think that this is somehow popular in China But also not very easy to find uh, I mean, I actually tried this over there before I bought it And it's not really like up to my liking Okay, it's sweet, it's a good thing But I just don't like the taste of the red dates But the walnut, it's okay to me So I didn't buy this for myself to eat But I just buy this as a gift for my parents Because maybe they will like it And they eat red dates, not me And the next thing that I got is this Maggie. This is called the Golden Stock Beef Noodles and I got it because it's really awesome. So this is the next item that I got. It's like a potato chip with like three different flavors packed together in a bundle. So the first flavor which is this one, it's a tomato flavor while the middle one it's beef flavor and this one is the original potato flavor. Then the next one I got, it's a potato tea bits as well with a beef flavor and it looks really really nice so I just decided to buy this to try for myself so if it tastes good, next time I'll buy again I also got this Xiang Piao Piao I know that Xiang Piao Piao is really famous in China My friend told me it's really nice Another one that I got is this one I got this because it looks kind of good as well it's like a seaweed with some like a uh, sesame on top of it it looks crispy and I love crispy stuff so I decided to buy it and try I also got this lace potato chip and this one is the black pepper rib eye stick flavor which looks really good and I don't know why majority of the snacks that I bought are beef flavor because I love beef so I decided to give this a try also Then I left with this too Technically, I got this too because I like this too One is this Tauke Noi CD and another one is this Wang Wang Why am I buying something that I can get it in Singapore? Now that I see, I feel that I didn't buy a lot So this is my very very last batch It's not food, not clothes but just some general items I got all of this from Miniso and I know I know that Singapore also have it but some of the products they sell are different so yeah I just went in and see and it's somehow slightly cheaper as well but some of it it's like the same price as Singapore like, like this cotton pad Singapore sell it for $20 eh, $20 for the book I meant $2 I know Singapore have it but I just buy it it's the same price I don't give a shit I just buy it the next thing that I got is to makeup remover I just so happened to finish my makeup remover when I was at Beijing so I just buy like a makeup remover so that I can remove my makeup over there I just buy extra in case this remover is good and I feel that it's good after trying out so I didn't regret buying the second bottle and this cost me like 20 yuan only which is how much? 4 dollar only for like a 300ml worth of makeup remover why not right? and this actually have a mild cleansing feature it's a good thing for me especially if I'm very very lazy to wash my face that's technically it the rest are some gifts that I bought for other people so I'm not gonna show you guys because that one not very important actually that's all I have for you guys and I hope you guys enjoy my whole video I'll see you guys soon bye